nice. This is the only place in this whole facility with anything green. I kind of feel silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. I'm not sure what you meant just now, but are you talking about something that happened in another history? I know what you can do. Someone told me about it once. They said that you have the ability to transport your consciousness through time. Sigma, aren't you here to ask me something? Why I killed them, perhaps? Oh? Why do you think I didn't do it? I'd like to know your reasoning. Why do you think so? Is that your proof? That's why you think Dio killed her? Then why are you so sure? What? All right, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wait. When did that happen? Isn't that against the rules? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sigma. I'm glad you don't think I did it, but all of your theories are just, well, theories. Like Alice committing suicide. How can you be sure? Say she was infected with Radical Six. She could have been murdered before her symptoms even began to present themselves. As for Clover and Tenmyoji, I could easily have killed them. You don't have any proof that Clover's message was mirrored like you say, or even that it was supposed to refer to Dio. Even if it did, that's not conclusive evidence of his guilt. The same goes for Kay and Dio. I could have killed them both. I just... Why do you trust me so much? I'm a machine. I'm part of this place. How can you trust a machine? What? Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Sigma. You were right. I didn't kill them. How should I explain? Well, actually, you got most of it right. Well, first, yes, Dio did sneak into the facility. He used the large cargo elevator and came into the warehouse on floor A through the number 9 door. Since the game hadn't started yet, anyone could go through it. Yes, I guess you could say that. He did get in pretty easily. But that's because Zero Jr. lured him here. Dio wasn't a surprise. Both Zeros knew that he was going to come. In a way... Because his presence was an important part of Zero's project. I can't go into that right now. We'd be here forever. Right now, let's just focus on the murders, okay? Anyway, Dio found his way in. They made sure he didn't know that he was actually being let in. To make sure Zero's project failed. His first step was to pretend to be one of the players. As for how he did that, you had it pretty much right. The old woman was the first one out, and he killed her under the graffiti. He put a bracelet on after he wiped the blood off it with the handkerchief. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the 5th and 6th AB rooms. Counting from the left in their original placement. Right. After that, he went back into the fifth AB room where Quark was sleeping. Then he just waited for Quark to wake up. Nothing. I could.
couldn't do anything. My body had been turned off. Zero Junior had powered me down. My body wasn't activated until after Dio went into the fifth room. I couldn't help her. All I could do was watch while she was murdered. Everything in this place is controlled by Zero Junior. I couldn't try and prevent Dio from getting in either. Yes. That's right. Zero Junior moved the room, not me. Me. It took me ten minutes to get out of my AB room once I was turned back on. I ran over to check on her as soon as I did. Then I carried her back to the room I'd been in. Because I was ordered to. Luna, listen to me very carefully. As you already know, the final stage of the project begins in two hours. This will be the culmination of many years of hard work. We cannot afford failure. Yes. I understand. Then let's make sure. What is your mission? to the Nonary game as one of the participants and observe the actions of the other players. Ensure that they do what they are supposed to and guide them down the correct paths. How many players will there be? Myself and seven others, ma'am. Will you be participating as well? Yes. Our plan dictates that I must. An individual by the name of Dio will be entering this facility presently. He has been led to believe he is doing so undetected. You've been briefed on him already, correct? Yes. He will murder the first person to leave one of the AB rooms and take their place. If a pair is the first out, he'll probably kill both of them. That's all the information I've been given on him, ma'am. Um, I... Is there a problem? With all due respect, ma'am, I would like to state that I don't feel right about this. We know someone is going to be killed, and we're just going to let it happen? I also have doubts about the use of Radical Six. Are... are you sure? Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease. That is none of your concern. Your only concern is to follow your orders. But... Luna. I am giving you an order. I am in command and you do as I say. You are programmed to do as I say. You know this. Yes. Good. Now, I have one final order. Another order, ma'am? Yes. When you leave the AB room, the person Dio has killed will still be there. I would like you to move them. Where? To the room you are about to enter. The sixth AB room. But, why? Not your concern. As a participant in the game, you must have as little knowledge of it as possible. That is why I have made sure you are unable to access any classified data. There are things you must not know. In order for this project to succeed, we need you to be as close to a clean slate as possible. There are some things you already know, which ideally you would not. 
Unfortunately, this is unavoidable, so you must refrain from divulging anything you know about the project to the other participants. You must never tell anyone what you know about Dio, or the body, or that you carried it to the 6th AB room. You will have to pretend you know nothing more than the rest of the participants. Is that an order? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Yes. After that, I went into the AB room as I'd been told to. As soon as I stepped inside, my body deactivated. But since my brain is in the main computer, I was still awake. So I still saw everything. While I waited, I used the security cameras to see what was going on in the rest of the facility. Yes, it was hard. What I was seeing made no sense. Several of my higher level processes nearly failed. To think that she would be the first person to come out. I think she knew that Dio was going to kill her. When she'd said she had one final order for me, I didn't understand what she meant. Like a fool, I told her I didn't approve, when I had no idea what she was prepared to do. When she died, whatever I have that passes for a heart felt like it snapped in two. But she wasn't the only person I took orders from. Yes. Yes. They worked together to develop the project she mentioned. So I suppose technically my orders came from both of them. And they were both controlling Zero Junior, too. I told you before that Zero Junior moved the 6th AB room. Although that's strictly true, he didn't do it of his own free will. They ordered him to do it. He was following orders just like me. I don't know. I really don't. Maybe they did it so that people wouldn't suspect me. the opposite. Maybe they wanted you to suspect me. You're right. Then maybe they only wanted certain people to be suspicious of me. Yes. Perhaps they wanted Alice to find the handkerchief and the knife. That would explain why they moved the room. So, Well, whatever the reasons were, Alice did notice that the room was moved, which meant that Clover also figured it out. And just like you said, Alice used the knife to... to take her life. Clover didn't realize that, though. Or perhaps she didn't want to. In any event, she decided that I must have killed Alice to keep her quiet. So she confronted me. It was right after the second round of the AB game. Using Phi's timetable, 
That would be zero hours, zero minutes. Yes, that wasn't all I was listening to, though. I know everything that happened in the facility after my body collapsed. Yes, I was. I could see and hear everything. Anyway, we we're at zero hours, zero minutes. I was in the hallway on floor A when Clover found me and took me to room two in the crew quarters. We entered at about zero hours, one minute. She was very forceful. I know you killed Alice. Tell me the truth, and I'll let you live. Now fess up! I'm only going to give you one chance. If you lie or try to play dumb or something, I'll kill you right in front of her. I told her the truth, of course. I explained that I hadn't killed Alice, that she'd been infected with Radical Six, and it had caused her to kill herself. Clover was never going to believe that, though. We argued about it for nearly nine minutes. It wasn't just Alice she asked me about. She asked me about the murder of the old woman and about the A B room being moved. She wasn't very nice about it, but I couldn't answer any of her questions. Yes. Then, at about zero hours ten minutes, she must have run out of patience. She stuck her hand in her pocket and started moving toward me. She backed me up against the wall and pulled her hand out of her pocket. She was holding the injection gun. I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. She refused to let go, of course. While we were fighting over it. was always to act like I was one of the players, a human. Any human injected with that amount of tubocurarine would die. No, I collapsed because Zero Junior turned off the power to my body again. He probably felt he had to. Maintaining the illusion that I was human was probably in his orders too. So to make it look like I had died, he turned the power off. Whatever the case, it was an accident. I don't think Clover ever intended to actually kill me. She only took the injection gun to try and threaten me. When I collapsed, she looked terrified. She checked for my pulse and listened to see if I was breathing. She also shook my body and called out to me several times. If she'd meant to kill me, why do all that? After a few moments, she ran off to the infirmary to get the AED. Yes. Correct. Yes. She ran off toward the infirmary. On the way, she bumped into Dio. Yes, I guess she just saw him. Really, they didn't talk. She just ran past. Yes, I imagine he was curious. Of course, he probably wondered what she was doing, but he chose not to go after her. He had something else to do.